Looking into the demonstrator's top demand. They want Washington University to divest from Boeing. Our political editor Mark Maxwell is in studio now. Mark, you're following the money. And Brent, there are quite a few roadblocks on that path to follow the money. WashU's endowment fund is worth $12.5 billion. Records show 63% of that money includes donor restrictions on how it's invested or spent. And SEC filings show just a fraction of the remainder of that money, $270 million, is reported as publicly traded. But how much of that, if any, is actually invested in Boeing? Campus protesters echoed a common refrain nationwide. An end to funding war profiteers. One of America's five largest defense contractors is based here in St. Louis. Some of us were prepared to get arrested because we felt that's how important that this was that watch you divest from Boeing. British-based human rights group Amnesty International documented these bomb fragments in Gaza and traced their serial numbers to Boeing. It says the two October Israeli airstrikes came without warning and killed 43 Palestinian civilians, including 19 children. Our universities are being challenged now. Fundamentally, who are they for? Are they for war contractors? But what's the evidence WashU supports Boeing with its money? In their letter calling for WashU to divest, students acknowledge they're not quite sure. It says you don't know if WashU is actually invested in holdings of Boeing stock. So, I mean, I think divestment also includes more than just financial, though, right? There are programs on this school that are like the Boeing programs. Boeing has supported WashU with tuition assistance and internships. In 1997, WashU's Olin Business School used endowment funds to launch the Boeing Center for Technology, Information, and Manufacturing. It's that appearance of financial partnership that bothers this campus protester. It's in their, like, statement of how they invest is to do, like, some statements of ethical lines. In its documents, the endowment fund says it does not seek to profit from the violation of basic human rights. To then say, yeah, we can associate with them, we can kind of support them, and then also say, we support education across the world. We support ethical investments. In 2020, Chancellor Andrew Martin wrote, quote, we are equally committed to being more transparent about the endowment, and it currently has absolutely no exposure to private prisons or weapons manufacturing. We asked if that remains true today. Neither the chancellor, the chief investment officer, nor chief operating officer would answer. Even if WashU holds some stock in Boeing, even if it sold those shares, it's hard to see how that would hurt a $103 billion company. It certainly wouldn't stop Boeing from selling bombs or fighter jets to Israel. Only Congress can do that. And in following the money, that may be one reason Boeing spent $14.5 million lobbying Congress in the last year and why its workforce donated almost a million dollars to candidates running for Congress.